Welcome back. We're so glad to have you back with us. I told you we had a lot of information for you, and we do. There is so much more that's going to be coming up. And, well, let's see, Reza. We, we know we, we showed them the, the videos, and we showed them that you're the winner, but there's more information that you want to give us. So, so we want to go to the next video at this Yeah, time? we're, we're going to go to the next video, which okay. will tell a big story, and then we'll follow up after we Sounds see great. It. And we can talk during this video. Oh, that's fine. That's up to you. Yeah, let's talk. I like to talk. <laughs> okay. Can building an airplane turn a life around? In Arlington, high school students just finished building a real plane. But as King 5's aviation specialist Glenn Farley shows us, it's the story behind the build that is making the news. Okay, cycle through it. They are high school students. Go ahead. Four of them from a struggling school in Las Vegas, Nevada, where only about a third of the kids graduate. Awesome. But still, they are here, bringing an airplane to life. Come, come look real quick. Okay. Under the guidance of mechanics and Arlington airplane manufacturer, Glass Air. Uh, one of them, Josh, had never been on a plane, period, in his whole life. They don't have internet. They don't have a computer at home. Yet they use computers at school to design a plane that was so good, the entry beat out 79 other high schools nationwide. The chance to come to Glass Air and actually build a plane, the prize. If you really want something, you have to do it. Okay, confirm air filter is secured. The win is a life changer for Carlos Alvarado. Very secured. Yeah. And my mom, she is working in, well, as a, as a maid. He was already heading to college. At first, I had, I was like, wow, general studies, probably go to college, that's it. But now I'm thinking about being an aerospace engineer. Sunrise Mountain High School is making a turnaround, in part because of volunteers like Reza Kamaruz, who heads the Nevada Business Aviation Association and started the Aviation Club. They will all talk about it. The competition is sponsored by the General Aviation Manufacturers Association. This trip to Arlington, all expenses paid. And after two weeks of turning what started as a kit into a functioning airplane, everybody climbs on board. For a little engine test. the first taxi. To let these kids know what's out there, yeah. Yeah. give them the opportunity, get them hands on, and it's amazing how far they can go. In Arlington, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Uh, the FAA certified the plane as airworthy this afternoon. The kids head back to Las Vegas tomorrow and should get to fly it later on this summer. That is just fantastic. <laughs> you know, I, I said we could talk during the video, but just to hear the students, you don't want to talk during that no, time. No, no. But we have more videos coming up, and uh, then these, I guess we can talk to us. Yeah, well, this uh, next video, uh, so what you saw there is a group of four students right. uh, that uh, were uh, the finalists in our aviation club that year. Uh, and when we won this championship, uh, as you heard on the video, the uh, winning prize was to go and build a plane, a Glass Air Sportsman 2 Plus 2. Okay. Uh, basically, when we got there, it was all in pieces. You know, we have to rivet the wings. We have to do all the different things, hang the engine uh, and okay. put the stuff on the plane, hangs the gear, so on. And it was a lot of uh, fun and a lot of hard work, but it was an experience that um, it was really hard to uh, put a put a value on it. Uh, in addition to what you saw on the video as far as building a plane, every one of those students also got to fly planes, those small planes. Okay. They got to co-pilot uh, not just one, maybe two or three, depending on uh, how uh, how much they wanted to fly. Uh, we had a different planes available that they could do that. And in fact, all of them got to fly on one of the personal planes belonging to uh, the then s uh, president of the Boeing business jet oh, um, okay. company, uh, uh, Captain uh, Taylor. Uh, he flew up one of his planes and he let uh, two of our students actually co-pilot his plane over oh. to the uh, city of Seattle. So again, those are very cool things and uh, experiences that you can't forget. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, in addition to what we uh, do with our aviation after school programs, this year we have brought, uh, in 2018-2019 school year, we've brought aviation after school or during school or both to six schools in southern Nevada.
Okay. My goal is that in 2019-2020 school year, that we have uh, we bring another 25 schools into aviation uh, and related uh, curriculum. So, okay, I'm counting on Paramount Valley High School. Hey, listen, I'm I'm all in. So, uh, I would love to uh, speak to uh, the leaders uh, okay. of uh, the schools here, um, uh, both middle school and high school. Uh, okay, you know we have uh, curriculum for both. So we're going to make uh, sure that happens. Please do. Okay. I'm, I'm, listen, that would be awesome. So uh, the next video uh, is uh, one of our uh, students flying a glider and landing it. Uh, over uh, Gene, Nevada, so we okay. can watch that video. So, um, the student you see flying this glider happened to be a freshman when we won the national championship. His okay. name was Josh. He had never been on a plane of any sort. He had never been on a small plane or a jet airliner. So the first time he actually was ever on a plane in his life, when we flew him up to uh, Seattle, on Alaska Airlines from Las Vegas McCarran. And since then, I, I guess he's probably piloted or co-piloted half a dozen different types of planes, including this glider. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and um, he also has finished his ground school, uh, glider ground school, uh, along with three other students that uh, we had to complete that program. Okay. And uh, this particular day uh, was uh, freezing, uh, frigid cold for us in Southern Nevada anything like below 60 is pretty cool. Yes. And uh, that day was, <laughs> I think, in the high 30s with uh, blowing winds. Oh, uh, not, th not the best day to go glider uh, okay. flying because there's not many, uh, there's not a lot of thermos. The hot air, you know, push you up, but uh, plus it was cool. So anyhow, we can go ahead and uh, fast forward that. Uh, just to the landing, uh, it would be around the uh, eight and a half mark, eight and a half minute mark. So here he comes in. Uh, we've got GoPros mounted all over this plane, and um, so that's how we filmed this angle. And he's just taking a picture now with his phone uh, of the outside. There's really cool views up there. Uh, anyone who has gone glider flying realizes how peaceful it is up there. It is peaceful, and I, I told you already, I was over at the Air Force Academy in, uh, in a glider, and uh, it was just fantastic, quiet, and I loved every second of it. Yeah, it, it kind of gives you an interesting uh, yes. bird's eye view because you know you're you're feeling like you're free and you oh, can just go geez. on and on. But uh, anyhow, um, that's uh, just just an afternoon over uh, G Nevada. Uh, if we want to go ahead and take that to about a minute 8:45 on the video, and that's now coming in. Uh, lower and lower. Uh, with a glider, you only get one chance to land. You don't do a, a go around All right. in case you, <laughs> your approach is wrong. So you better get it right every time. Absolutely. Um, the good news is you're coming in pretty slow. Yeah. And, and interestingly, uh, most people are going to find this part interesting who have not flown on a glider. Uh, instead of landing on the pavement, you know, we land on dirt. And here we go. And there's only one wheel. So once you come to a stop, one of your wings is going to tilt down and you're sitting at an angle. So here we are. Okay. Good landing. Of course. You think in one piece is a good hey, hey, listen. Every time your takeoffs and landings equal in number, you're good. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was. Uh, it, it, that's a fun thing. So, you know, one of my, you know, I have all these ideas. One of my ideas is that someday across the state of Nevada, okay. that we will uh, not only give glider lessons and uh, glider ground lessons and also the actual flight lessons, that a hundred youth that are old enough to get the FAA glider pilot license, a hundred a year uh, will accomplish that oh, across fantastic. the state of Nevada. So that's one of okay. my dreams. Um, okay. I'm not sure how many years away from that we are, hey, but I, I like that dream. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, it's an easy number for me to remember. So, <laughs> okay. you know, it's a hundred. So, um, all right. So we're going to go to uh, the next subject, okay. uh, which is still on the subject of you know, youth programs and STEM education and bringing education, uh, aviation, aerospace, and drones to youth. Okay. Uh, we are the uh, Reno Air Race's uh, STEM education partner. So okay. uh, this year we had over 6,000 students go through our program. And uh, for those of you who have not been to the Reno Air Races and you live in Nevada, 
I say, go to the Reno Air Races. So in 2019, uh, the Reno Air Races is going to be even more incredibly awesome okay. uh, than, uh, than last year, for instance, because we're going to have the Thunderbirds do the demonstration flight. Oh, so, fantastic. you know, put that on your calendar now. It's always mid-September, so don't, don't ask when it is. Always <laughs> mid-September. All right, let's go ahead and watch this uh, next video from minute 822 until 913. So this is uh, on the Sunday of the races this year, uh, one of the final races here, and these planes are, as you can see, there's I think eight in this race, eight planes flying, like NASCAR, taking, in this case, four left turns in the sky, flying wing to wing, wing tip to wing tip. Look at this, look at this coming around. This is just incredible. And by the way, they can fly as low as 50 feet above ground and up to uh, 300 feet above ground, but that's their window, 50 to 300. And they're coming around, and the jets will take those corners at 500 miles an hour. So this is the world's fastest motorsport, period. It's the world's fastest motorsport. So next September, mid-September, come out to the Reno Air Races and watch the world's most fastest motorsport. It's absolutely incredible. Now, who are the pilots in these? Uh, d d all sorts of different folks. You know, okay. these are obviously incredibly awesome pilots. Yeah. Um, but they have uh, very, very, uh, most have long, long, many decades, uh, and some uh, have been military, you know, fighter pilots, and some have been civilian. But, you know, they've had a great amount of experience, and what they're doing here uh, requires um, really incredible precision. So um, just incredible to watch. It's a, it's a fun activity for the family there's a lot to see not only you see an air race this is also an air show so there's a military uh, aircraft display and a military uh, aircraft demonstration plus there's a jet demonstration this year we had the uh, patriots jet team uh, they fly the l-39 and uh, from the six pilots, two were former Thunderbirds, two were former uh, Blue Angels. So you see the caliber. Oh, and then hey, uh, okay. in 2019, we'll have uh, the uh, Air Force Thunderbirds uh, do their awesome work uh, and demonstrate some parts. So look at that plane coming across. Boy, that's, that is just a thing of beauty. Look at that. Absolutely. Well, compared to these types of racing, uh, cars racing on, on a track look like they're standing still. So, Anyhow, come out to the Reno Air Races, come to the STEM Education Discovery Zone. If we can go, oh, no, we're running, uh, uh, we're running out of time here. Yes, as always, next, we're, we're, next. Getting, we're getting down to the, to the minute there. So come back and join us for the next session. We've got more for you, so come on back.